Spend most of my life as a sharecropper. Lord, for about 35 years ago. Spend most of my life as a chef. My name is Antoinette Harrell, and I'm the co-founder of Gatherings of Hearts. I'm here in uh, Webb, Mississippi, and we just left Kentucky, the Poor People's Economic Human, uh, the Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign. And these young men that you see here, they attend that conference with me, and they got an opportunity to see poverty and to hear what people were saying about poverty. But now, after the conference, they are here today, looking at a woman that needs help. Tell me, how long have you been living in this, this, this house? I've been living here a long time. A long time. Me and my boyfriend, mm -hmm. when he passed away, and then I, I've been still going, working. So from day to day, you're just trying to survive? Yeah. So you're outside washing your clothes on the scrub board and the, the robo? I do that every day. When I get through washing, and then I go to clean my house up. And get ready for work Monday. I get ready to go for the wake in the morning. You just left the conference and you come back out here and you see. Why did you feel a need for both of y'all, Michael, and and also for you, Marcos, to show us where this man lives? You know, we go to school right around right here. Yeah, we remember that house. And we know, you know, people need help. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we just had to uh, show y'all how she was living. Because she need help. She my probably need help. She need help. Probably needs help. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's why you really showed us where she lived. And while we went with you, just for a weekend, help Miss yeah, Mississippi. Help, help. Mm -hmm. That's why you went to Kentucky yeah. uh -huh. to get help. To get help from Mississippi. Everybody, not just one person, the, every, the whole Mississippi. Marco, you've been saying that since I met you from day one. You said I don't want help just for me. I want help for everybody. How old are you? Not Twenty. 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 So you. Your heart is just so full of love for everybody, both of you all. So when when you eat, he eat. When you eat. You seen that we was in Kentucky, right? How we do it, how we survive. Y'all share. If he ain't got it, I got it. Yeah, how we do it. Daniel, you and Roy and my son Bernard made that trip with us. Daniel, what are you thinking right now? It's sad. It hurt me to my heart because I, I learned a lot. I learned a lot dealing with you and dealing with this poverty stuff. And like you said, he, he helped, we helped, you helped them. Now they showing us to help the others. You know, we came on, we stopped at this house and we, we was passing by, they didn't have to see nothing. But he told us to stop and look at the house. And it's lady is living really bad. So you know we have to get out there and help her, find something to do to help her. The first thing you said, we're gonna get our wash machine. Yes, it's easy, we could get our wash machine. It's, we could take and put we could put money together or we could just we could and take get it and get machines. a four to five dollars at the goodwill, find someone and stop at the we'll find a, a we'll good find a washing machine. machine. That is so so humbling to hear our youth say that they want to do something. Bernard, what are you thinking right now? Same thing like that ain't said. And she really do need out. And you know, we met met these two dudes, you know, and like we we connected when we went to Kentucky. You know, and like we, we both come from different situations. But still, we, you know, I can't wait till they come down to Kenwood and, live and spend some time with us. And, you know, and to see, our, see this and the rest of Mississippi, they, they really do need help and we really need to do something. Just yes, fast. fast yeah, and nobody needs to be selfish or nothing and not, uh, like, discriminate who helps them. They just, whoever want to help, just accept it. You know? Roy, what are you thinking? I said you still have on your rebuilding the unsetting force a national conference to end poverty. July the 16th and 19th, 2009, Spalding University, Louisville, Kentucky. I see you still have on your side. What are you, your, your tag, what are you thinking right now? Um, honestly, I'm thinking that we could help rebuild this house because it ain't right for a black female slash male to be living in a house like this because we basically the strongest in America, and we're supposed to be living like kings and queens instead of beneath. So I'm thinking we should like rebuild it so she can, you know, feel high. Feel a little good, feel good. Mm -hmm. See, she can sleep better. She can sleep better. Melvin, come to the front. What's going on with you? Tell me. You know, I used to live in, you know, 
house, something like this here, you know, and it, you know, it kind of, it kind of hit me, you know, so, you know, I, I really can't just, I really can't just describe it, you know, it's unbearable, you know. Because you know what this is, the li you know what this life is like. Yes, ma'am. You said it brought back memories for you. What kind of memories? All kinds of memories, you know. We come in our house, you know, how we used to live, you know, back in the day. We used to, we used to have one room, you know. Uh, when we come in our house, it's the living room, kitchen, back room, the bathroom, everything is in one room, you know. I want to uh, take all of you over so that you can see how she washed her clothes in 2010, so please join me. Fundraiser for a wash machine? Yes. Uh, maybe one pair of tennis shoes. Yeah, we sacrifice to get her a wash machine. This is what life is like for her. And I want her to hold that shirt up so she can show you all that the praying hands and men, real men, do pray. And this is what life is like for her. And she have all those clothes to wash. Before she go to work tomorrow. And this is that scrub board that you see that we have. How long did it take for you to, to wash all those days of clothes? I think I had to get them on. Can we get the camera closer? The question was Bernard asked, How long does it take to wash these clothes? This amount of clothes. And what did you say? Uh, that I had brain this morning. And I'll be through full night. Spend most of my